Hi guys, today we want to give you guys a sharing on the forehand volley. Okay, and um, we've been always told to turn side on to make your volley, and that is correct. Side on helps your volley a lot and definitely helps you guys. Now, think about what happens on the contact. Okay, so side on, stay side on, and yes, that's correct. And uh, many players should learn to do this and definitely great grounding fundamentals for you all. Just want to share with you guys though, one small tip. For the advanced professional players and players who might want to get more power on the volley, you might notice that once they turn side on and prepare that racket as they step the outside foot and then they step the inside foot and make contact, there's a slight rotation when the non-dominant hand, me being the left-handed hand, pull away so that this is a slight rotation okay? slight rotation okay so you might want to try that as you get more advanced on the forehand volley so for example players to learn side on step side on stay side on execute that's great grounding just want you guys to share share with you guys a little bit more advanced tip for the advanced players they would turn side on and as they make contact they might open the shoulder a little bit to get that extra nudge on that ball a little a rotation whereas the non-dominant hand pulls out a little bit not saying it's like that right don't go crazy with it but just a little bit of rotation you see the advanced players would do this motion a little bit open versus just staying side on falling like this so this video is to share an advanced movement for everybody that has progressed well in their volley and developed the grounding already for the basic foundation of the forehand volley as all the advanced players would open up a little bit a little bit of rotation as they hit the forehand volley so this you can try so to develop a little bit more nudge on that volley a little more power behind that volley so for all our friends who want to develop a forehand volley better volley for the forehand volley and uh, this is one of the things that we teach in the shadow tennis movement training book as an advanced progression where we open up a little bit and contact maintaining out in front really out in front but giving a little bit more or stick on that volley so you can try this tip guys and definitely it's an advanced movement give yourself more time to do it through the steps slow flow breathing and then visualization of the ball path trajectory whether it's penetrating or rising okay be sure to send us your feedback and definitely click in and get your copy of the book and we love to share our training method with you we can only help you if you help yourself okay so it's a great investment the book has already helped many players around the world and we look forward to sharing our training method with you all on the forehand volley